Hello everyone, Adisidik here. Today I'm gonna show you how to undervolt your GPU using MS Afterburner. So in my case I'm using RTX 3060 with i5 10416 gigs of RAM and this is my afterburner. I'm using this interface. If you want to go to with this interface, you go to settings and user interface and select this MSI Gaming Z Afterburner Skin by DRX design is what I chose ok for undervolting I have two methods the first one is really easy to do and the second one is a little bit complex but it has better efficiency for me at least so the first method is just simply uh, slide your power limit and time limit also but is linked so you just have to slide one power limit the edge to the left and then click apply and this is it just a uh, symbol like this this is the first one okay then the f second method uh, is just you have to open the curve editor for core clock you can press ctrl f or you just click this symbol like this like this yeah. then uh, for core clock you type this minus 250 press enter and apply you can go lower than minus 250 if you like but for example I'll choose minus 250 and then you can choose around 850 to 900 millivolt but I'll choose this uh, 875 then drag up to plus 100 like this then uh, apply you can choose the different variation for your best sweet spot and make sure that your PC not crash but if you crash then you should go higher voltage and make sure that this line is just straight line not the curve you just try it and there you go this is the second method just use the curve editor minus 250 for core clock and then drag up to plus 100 for about 850 to 900 and my example is 875 and there we go so now this is the result uh, I'm using a game for the horizon 5 and this is my for the second method I'm using these settings with uh, about 862 with plus 105 this is my sweet spot this is my settings for underfolding the second method so ok let's go to the game and for RTX 360 with about 90 plus percent I got about 55 degrees Celsius and about 100 FPS. This is, this is the ultra settings, so basically about 100 FPS for uh, most of the time, or maybe get lower, about 80 FPS. But as you can see, the GPU power draw is only about 75 to 80 watt, and this is really efficient. This is the the most efficient. I got for RTX 360 for the second method using this the curve editor so ultra settings 100 fps uh, for 90 percent usage with uh, 55 or 56 degrees celsius so move to the first method uh, using the power draw so to back to default then power limit to as the le left apply and we are uh, from 80 watt from the second method uh, so this is the first method now my gpu power just increased to from 80 to about 99 100 watt with the temp about a little bit higher from 55 to 60 degrees celsius and fps is just al almost the same from 90 to 100 fps 
So uh, for me, the second method is uh, most efficient. But this is the first method of underfolding, or just basically limit the power draw of the GPU. So then, uh, change to default settings is default without any underfold setting, and back to the game. And as you can see, the GPU power is just more than 100, 120, 180, 130, with the temperature a little bit higher to 65 degrees Celsius, and maybe the FPS uh, a little bit higher, but only just uh, 5 FPS higher. So, but the power, the GPU power, it just really got higher from. 80 watt from the second method to this default setting 130 is really bad efficiency so then back to the second method but that's what i like back to this my profile is number three apply and from 180 uh, 130 to about 85 85 uh, 83 watt is really efficient and I got almost the same FPS as the default setting or the first method and it's really really efficient.